So the game I'm playing today is called Heliopedia. This is a sandbox game where you are essentially creating your own solar system. You can create brand new planets by terraforming them, and I believe by terraforming them you can also discover brand new biomes and different, uh, different little creatures. Or if you want, you can just completely obliterate your planets by causing all sorts of natural disasters. There's apparently some sort of chemistry set that you can also mess around with in order to create planets in this game. I'm not entirely sure how exactly that works, because I have not played this game at all off-screen. But it did look pretty interesting to me. You guys probably already know, or you may know if you're a long-time viewer of my channel, that, uh... My affinity for all things space-related is well-established at this point, and this is a pretty cheap game as well. It was only $5 on Steam, so I decided to pick it up. It's also a very new game as well. This came out on Steam just two days ago. At least at the time of this recording, it was two days ago. And this is actually another game from Sock Pop. Yeah, Sock Pop, for those of you who don't know, are the creators of Similand and Enbody two games that I covered on the channel previously, and this is their newest commercial title. They released this just a couple of days ago. This is their newest game. And I did mention before that I wanted to try and play more of Sock Pop's games uh, later this year, and this is actually a brand new game that they released literally just 48 hours ago, so I want to try it out. Probably not going to be spending too much time with this. So, the overall objective of this game is that you are trying to complete the Heliopedia, which is basically an encyclopedia that contains information regarding, I think, all of the biomes that you discovered and all the different creatures that you discover too. I think there's also various bug creatures that you can uncover in this game as well. I'm probably not going to be completing the Heliopedia in this video, According to the game's developers, this game takes about two to three hours to beat. I'm probably not going to be playing it for that long, but I will be playing it for maybe an hour at most, so I guess we'll just get started here then. Rotate using the right mouse button. Okay, so we have uh, what I presume is the sun right here. Okay, well, let's let's wake this fricker up. There we go. Uh-huh. What was that? <laughs> oh. Yawn. I just had the strangest dream. You also seem to talk rather slowly as well. Okay, well, wh what kind of dream did you have? Huh? What do you want? I want to know what sort of dream you were having, bud. Were you dreaming about turning into a supernova? I have no idea. Oh, right. Uh, um, yes. You're, uh, you're finally here. Welcome to my solar system. I am the sun. I'm here to show you around, and stuff. So, okay, um, here goes. Oh man, I'm really hungry after sleeping so long. Like, phew, you know? Can't concentrate, haha. <laughs> hey, um, since you're here, could you get me some coal? I know you just got here, but, uh, I'm really starving. <laughs> Three coal should be good, I think. Coal, okay. New planet, zero out of three cold. Oh, song drum in land. Okay, there's some, some music in here. Okay, what does the music sound like? Oh, girl, okay, that halftime group, though. Okay, all right. Just nice and chill, okay. It's still, still kind of banging, though. All right, I'm a fan of it. Okay, he wants me to get some coal. Okay, so what is, what is this new planet that I discovered? Uh, okay, are those, like, constellations in the background? Okay, that's interesting. Okay, so I can zoom out. Oh god, what is this? Heliosphere solar system. Okay, so I'm assuming I don't have any planets created right now, so... Asteroid ring? Oh, what in the world is this? Oh, I can use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out as well. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, well, I mean, <laughs> there's a lot of games of this kind that allow you to do that. Uh, what is this? Okay, ice? That's not what I want. Oh, this is coal right here. Okay, so we got some new entries in the, the Heliopedia. Ah, okay. So ice, frozen water, cools planets when molten, and coal. Flammable sedimentary rock, consisting of carbon and nitrogen, leaves ashes and emits carbon dioxide when burned. Okay, so I can probably use this to terraform planets as well. 
Okay, so I quit. Okay. Yeah, like I mentioned before that I think there's a total of 99 entries that you can uncover in the Heliopedia. But like I said before, I'm not going to be completing the entire uh, Heliopedia in this video. What does this number three mean, though? What does this mean? Oh, I can drag it to uh, my inventory here. Okay, well, he said just three pieces of coal. Okay, so this is like a lump that is worth three coal, or like a lump of coal that's so big it's basically worth three separate pieces of coal. Okay. Well then what's what's the brown stuff then? Are those actually asteroids? Oh, this is oxygen. You know what? I'm just gonna drag all of this stuff to my inventory for now. This may come in handy at some point. Yeah, so why, why the heck not? Maybe the smaller ones are worth less. Okay, no, that one's actually still worth three, interestingly. Okay, I don't need any more. Well, can I stack this? I can stack it. Okay, wait a second. Wait a minute. I'm not gonna, like, exhaust the resources here. I'd just like to maybe stock up on a little bit of coal and oxygen and ice. I could probably use that for something. I'm gonna assume that those brown, those brown circles are probably asteroids. Okay, this is oxygen. Elemental gas needed for breathing and combustion. I see. So I do believe you can also create wildfires in this game. I think the game's description actually said that. Okay, this is pretty neat right now. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to the sun then because he wants some coal. Okay. So, oh, I need three coal to create a new planet. Okay. Uh, there we go. Just fire it into his mouth. Mmm, yum. There we go. Just gotta feed him, dude. There we go. Ah, here, here we go. Need to spit. Don't say that ever again. Okay, well, there we go. My first planet, achievement unlocked, Inter. Is that its name? Inter? Barren Wasteland, achievement unlocked, terraforming. Okay, wait a second, why did the sun just turn blue? Can I just go look at what happened to the sun for a second? Why are you blue all of a sudden? Oh, because you're asleep, okay. Alright, well you just have a nice, a nice long nap, you literally just gave birth to a planet out of your mouth. That's weird. Yeah, okay. Well, anyway, um, nature. A planet. Astronomic gravitational body can harbor life when sufficiently humid and fertile. Makes sense. Alright, so climate is 7 degrees Celsius. That's, I mean, barely livable. Uh, okay, well, first of all, you should probably launch some oxygen at this, right? Yeah, you probably should. Oh, I see. That's also changing the pressure as well. Okay. Well, that's kind of neato. It's kind of neato. All right. I mean, can I just can I just launch all the oxygen at this? There we go. What about that? Yeah, this says out of 14, though. Okay, well, what happens if I launch some coal at it? Oh, the coal just stays on the planet. Or wait, does the coal... The coal doesn't actually do anything to the planet. Okay, well that's kind of interesting though because it seems like I can throw it around. Okay, this is kind of like physics based actually. It doesn't seem like the coal does anything though when I like lob it at the planet. Okay, what does the ice do anything? No, the ice just bounces around. Okay. I thought for sure it would have done something. Okay, well that's totally fine. I can just hold on to that for now then in that case. All right, I can actually I can actually move uh, the individual pieces of ice around in my inventory as well. Okay, cool. So how do I make you more humid? How do I make you more fertile as well? I gotta try and figure some of this stuff out. Okay, yeah. So there's oxygen. Oh, I can actually. Uh, oh, I can take oxygen out of the planet if I want. Oh, okay. If I want to like replace it with something else, I guess. Because there's probably other gases that I could I could add to the planet's atmosphere, right? Like, yeah, carbon carbon dioxide, nitrogen, glass, iron ore. Well, I could probably put the iron ore down on the planet. Probably. Okay. I want to try and find those other gases then in that case. But the question is, where do I find them? Probably in one of these other asteroid belts if I had to guess. Uh, asteroid ring. What about the belt? Let's go to an actual belt here. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of crap in here. Okay, well there's more coal, which is not exactly what I want, but I'll take the oxygen in the meantime. Yeah, it seems like these are all worth three. Okay, six. 
Yeah, I don't see any, any, like... Is there no carbon dioxide here whatsoever? Yeah, I guess there isn't. It's just coal, ice, and oxygen. And I still haven't figured out what exactly to do with the ice. What, what did it say? Yeah, it can cool planets only when they're molten, though. But Inter is not, uh... Inter is not, uh... Molten, it's just a wasteland. Okay, so let's, let's throw more oxygen at this, just to see what happens. Because I can bring the pressure up. Oh god, what is this, 15 out of 14? What if I just throw all sorts of oxygen at this, just to see what happens? Maybe I can t I can turn it molten, perhaps. There's gotta be some things that I can use to make it more, like, like fertile and humid as well. Like, there's trees, there's animals. Yeah, nature, cloud, thundercloud, a stone, volcano, snow. Inventions? Devices created by intelligent life. Snowball, wool, shawl, money. Wait, there's money here as well? Ship hull? Battery? Shades? A glass dome? The world is all of that. Okay. I can fast forward this too, apparently. Okay, I can fast forward the simulation and I can also pause it as well. Okay, don't exactly know what the use for that is right now. What is this symbol? View the core? Ooh. Rotate. Oh god, okay, yeah, we can actually view what's inside of it. Yeah, it looks like the core is made out of rock. Why is there like a little square in the in the center here though? What does the square outline mean? I don't understand. I don't understand this at all. I wonder if there's any way that I could possibly change that. Can I like change the interior of the co of the of the core somehow? I don't know. Can I can I launch some coal at this? To see what happens? No, it, do it it does literally nothing. What about ice? No, still doesn't do anything. Okay, fine then. Okay, I'm gonna go confront the sun again. Well, actually, what about this this asteroid ring all the way out here? No, this is just more oxygen. Yeah, it's just ice, oxygen, and... I guess I can't pick up the actual asteroids themselves, unfortunately. Okay, I need to go talk to the sun again, because I don't know what I'm doing. Wake up, please. Huh? Oh, I'm up. I'm up. Yeah, I, I need a little bit of guidance here, please. Hey, you're back. Oof. Three coal was a bit, uh, a bit much. Oh well. Looks like I made a new planet in the process. God, your text moves, like, really slowly, dude. Is there any way that I can, like, speed that up somehow? I'm always hungry, so feed me if you want another planet. You can't eat too much, right? Oh, hey, also, um, I've decided to open my own shop. The concept is that you can unlock stuff with discovery stars. Oh, that's what those little stars are. Okay, for every new discovery, you get one star, and you trade stars for new objects. Pretty cool, right? Looks like you already have enough for tier one. Tier one? I need three ashes to create another new planet. Okay, a solar match. You can make you can make stuff burn with it like I can. A solar match. I'll take it. Wait, how many... How many discovery stars do I have right now? Oh, that doesn't use up discovery stars when I take solar matches out. Okay, it actually doesn't. So how many of these can I hold on to? Is the limit nine? Or can I actually have more than nine? No, I can't have more than nine. I can go up to ten. Okay, I really don't need this many matches though, honestly. Okay, so I get another one, or I unlock another tier at eight stars, 15, 20, 30. Okay, so let's go burn some crap then. I guess is what he's telling me. Okay. Well, I got an idea. I have an idea right here. I don't know if this is actually gonna... Well, no, I probably have to actually light the match with something. What if I combine this with coal? No, does absolutely nothing. Okay, I'm gonna need to figure all this stuff out then. Because I really just don't even know what I'm doing. Okay, what is the new discovery in the Heliopedia, though? A matchstick? Natural fire starter combusts when briefly clicked on... Or, or no. Combusts when briefly clicked while on a planet with atmospheric oxygen. Okay. So, so wait, I have to actually click on it again? Ah, okay, okay. That's gonna create ash, I'm assuming? I mean, this is already a wasteland anyway, so it, may, it makes sense. Does that convert to ashes? It did not convert to ashes. Did it actually do something to the humidity or the, the climate, I wonder? Doesn't seem like it did. 
Okay, hang on. I'm gonna press it. And then what if I take it back into my inventory? No, it's literally just a match. Okay, I have an idea. Can I melt the ice by clicking on the match when it's close by to it? Does this actually do anything? Oh yeah, it actually does. Oh, it created a puddle. Oh, okay, so that's how I discovered the puddle. Let's see here. Result of rainwater can be used to water things. Pretty self-explanatory. That wasn't rainwater, though. I actually melted the ice with the match in order to create that. Okay, well, what about the coal, then? Let's let's just try this out here and see what that does. Oh, God! Fire starter! Okay, yep, I burned the coal. Okay, that's, that's what I figured. That's what I freaking figured. Okay, now I have burning coal in my inventory. Oh, wait, no, it's not burning anymore. Okay, wait, so can I... Let, let's see if I can actually ignite some stuff on the planet, though, by doing this. I am kind of curious about this. So if I put this right here... Yeah. And then can I light other stuff on fire with it? Will that work? No, it doesn't seem like it does. Okay, well, that's pretty neat and all. Oh, actually, wait, I just noticed the humidity on the planet did go up when I did that. Oh, God, what did I do now? Oh, I did make ashes. Okay, burn the coal to make ashes. Oh, okay, I'm just not... I'm being impatient again, though. Like, I'm not waiting long enough for it to turn to ashes. Fire residue consisting of nitrogen fertilizes the ground when dissolved in water. Wait, that gives me an idea. Is that puddle still there? Oh, that puddle might not be there anymore. Okay, well, I'll take it with me anyway, just in case it disappears. No, I think the puddle might have evaporated. What is this, like, little cloud that keeps appearing occasionally? Like, right over here, this little puff of smoke, almost. Yeah, what is that? I don't know what that is. Okay, so the humidity did actually go up. Okay, what is this, then? What is the other thing? Hello? This must be nitrogen. No, it's carbon dioxide. Oh, okay, well, keep that in the atmosphere, then. Can I keep it in the atmosphere? Oh, it's actually not letting me keep it in there. Okay, fine. Well, hang on to it for now, then. Frick. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, carbon dioxide, elemental gas needed for photosynthesis. Okay, so, I mean, we could probably just take some oxygen out of here, honestly. Yeah, just take- oh god, it's just flying all over the damn place. Hang on a minute. Take a little bit of oxygen out of here. Okay, well, hang on. So I can only have up to 14, right? So what if I take this out, put the carbon dioxide back in? No, it's still not letting me put it back in. Okay, wait. Well, why was I able to put so much oxygen into the atmosphere to begin with? I don't even- I don't even know. I don't understand. It seems like the oxygen will just float there, though, above the planet. So I guess I don't- I don't really have to worry about it disappearing, but even so. Okay, here. Take that, put the carbon dioxide- No, it's still not letting me put the carbon dioxide in. Okay, I don't- I don't understand then. What if I just- Okay, let me try something here for a minute. Remove all of that. No, I- it literally won't let me put carbon di- Wait, what the hell am I doing? No. I know why it's not letting me put it in, because I need to launch it directly at the planet. I am a dum-dum. Wait, why did that add water to the- to the, uh, atmosphere? Wait, I made a cloud. Oh god, wait, I'm discovering new things again. I'm discovering crap. Like, unintentionally. What in the world? Okay, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Do do do. Hang on. Throw- okay, wait, throw the oxygen back in, or throw some oxygen back in. Bring the pressure up to at least one bar. Please and thank you. Okay, cool. I made a cloud. Somehow. A cloud. Water vapor forms from evaporating cloud water. Okay, so we have clouds now. There's gotta be something I can do with this. Because it did say that I can make thunderstorms with this. So hang on a minute. Gives me an idea for something. Yeah, how you doing, little cloud? Okay, you, you stay right there, bud. Actually, I do have enough to unlock another, another tier, I think. What if I... I lob this directly at you. That doesn't do anything. Okay, well, hang on. Take, take the oxygen out of here, just for now. I'm just gonna move this in my, uh, my inventory. There we go. 
Okay, what I need to do is create more ashes, because I need three ashes in order to, uh, create another planet, apparently. Okay, so two coal. Oh god, you're bouncing away. Don't bounce away, please. Ignite, because we still have oxygen in the atmosphere. Move the matches towards the coal, just to burn it. There we go. There we go. Oh, that's also heating up the climate as well. What if I put this underneath the cloud? Will that, like, that, like, heat you up or anything? I don't know if there's anything I can do with that. Okay, just wait for them to burn then, in that case. Because I want to make some ashes so I can create another planet. Okay. This is interesting so far. Oh, yeah, this is actually heating up the climate a lot, I noticed. Yeah, it definitely is. Okay, well... I kind of want to make this planet habitable, though. So I think what I should do is probably just stop for now. The humidity did go back down. It was at 1 out of 14 at one point. We got more carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and a little bit of water. Okay. I do want to make the planet habitable. So I think I should stop for now. Okay, we'll come back to that. Go to the sun. Why in the frick are you upside down? Hang on. Unlock this. Solar seeds. Always useful. Okay, what are... What in the world are solar seeds? I'll... I'll grab a few. I'll just grab a few here. Okay. Solar seeds. This is another new entry. Okay, so this these are plants. Sprouts when watered. Only sprouts on fertile planets. Grows different kinds of weeds depending on the climate. Alright. Could be useful. I want to go and uh, give you some ashes so I can create another planet here just to see what this does. Here we go. Alright, here we go. Oh my god, please don't say need to spit again. Oh my lord, he said it again. <laughs> Alright, spit out another planet, please. Got a sun spitting out a planet. What in, what universe does this make a remote amount of sense? Turter. That's what his name is. It's a it's a turter. Alright, turter. How are you doing, bud? Oh, this this planet is also a wasteland. Oh, but you're you're like an icy wasteland though, because your climate's at minus three. Okay. I'll figure out what to do with you later. Wait, your humidity is only at 10? Like, 10 points? Do you have a different core? Actually, are you smaller? I think you're a smaller planet. At least it kind of seems to me like you're a smaller planet. I can't quite tell. Here, you can have some oxygen then in that case. There we go. Have a little bit of oxygen at least. Okay, so what in the world are the seeds then? I'm gonna just zoom out for now. Go back over here. Yeah, my cloud is still there, actually. Okay, so hang on. Hang on a minute. So, I need to figure out how to get you to rain. And there's actually no fertility here. Okay, so... This is not even gonna do anything, I don't think. Can you, can you rain on these seeds, please? <laughs> no, it doesn't seem like that's doing anything. Okay, yeah, because there's no fertility whatsoever. No fertility. Maybe it's not raining because there's also no humidity. Does that have anything to do with the fact that it's not raining? Can't quite tell. What if I burn the seeds? I just, I'm just curious about this. I just want to see what this will do. It may not do anything. Oh no, the seeds are burning. The seeds actually are burning. Hang on. Can I pick the match back up for a second? Yeah, but this, it's probably not going to do anything to the seeds. It's probably just going to destroy the seeds. Please rain on my seeds, please. Nope, it just destroys the seeds. Okay, well, there we go. The climate's at 24 degrees Celsius. I really don't think I should be uh, heating up the climate any further than I already have. I think that's also making a little too much carbon dioxide as well. But hang on a second. Okay, I want to keep the pressure at, at one bar at least. I mean, I can also use the ice to cool down the climate. Actually, if I make the climate cold enough, I could probably create snow as well. Couldn't I? Yeah, there we go. Just bring it down a little bit. Oh, there we go. I created rain. Look at that. Oh, so do I need to melt the ice in order to make rain? I don't know, but my little cloud boy is, is raining now. Oh, my cloud boy is gone. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Seeds. Go towards the rainwater. Please. You're gonna grow in there? Hopefully. I'm gonna assume that you are being watered right now. But I can't tell. Yeah, the humidity's gone up, I noticed. 
Why are the seeds moving around? I can't- I can't freaking tell. I also think that something just disappeared out of my inventory, but I- I can't actually tell if it did or not. I think the problem here is that there is no fertility, but I mean, I guess I could just keep the seeds down there for now? Until I figure out how to make the planet more fertile? I don't think my seeds will get destroyed, will they? Maybe not? Okay, so what else? I need 15, right? Okay, so hang on. What else am I gonna need to create another planet? Waramores? I don't know what that is. Try unlocking more stars. Waramores. Is that a type of plant? Hang on a second, let me look at the plants here. Okay, that is not a plant type. What exactly is a waramore? Oh, it's a bug. Or, or like a critter. Okay, simple animals that breed atmospheric nitrogen. Oh, they breathe ni nitrogen, though. Trees grow carbon dioxide. Animals diverse class of oxygen breathing species. Okay, so some of these... Some of these creatures don't breathe the same kind of, uh... The, the same kind of air. That's basically what they're saying. Okay, still have no idea why this dude is upside down, but whatever, it doesn't, doesn't matter. So it seems like these asteroid belts all possess the same kinds of materials here, because... Yeah, it's just more ice, more oxygen, more coal. And again, these asteroids I cannot pick up for whatever reason. Okay, yeah, the seeds are still there. Okay, so in that case, I put some ice right here. And it's gonna be warm enough that the ice is just gonna melt. I'm trying to see if I can use the, uh... If I can use the ice to create puddles so that I can, like... Yeah, I can, I, I can water the seeds. Wait, what does that see? Oh, it says too barren. Okay, so what can I do to increase the fertility of, of the, the planet here, then? Okay, I saw another cloud form right there. Okay, so ashes fertilize the ground when they're dissolved in water. Okay, so wait. Then that gives me an idea. I may need to burn more coal. In that case. Okay, hang on. Do do. Okay, so hang on. There's a cloud. There's another cloud over here, actually. Okay, so I'll just leave the cloud alone for a minute. Okay, this is also gonna heat up the atmosphere again. Okay, I wanna dissolve this in water, though. To make the ground fertile so that these seeds can actually freaking grow properly. So hang on a minute. I'm figuring this out here. Just give me a freaking moment. Okay. Now I need to dissolve you in water. Which I believe I can... I'm assuming I can do with the ice, because the ice is just gonna melt away. And this is gonna create a puddle. And I imagine you're going to dissolve in the puddle, right? Yeah, 1 out of 14 fertility. Okay. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do then. I want to get, like, multiple, multiple ashes burning right here. So how about I get, like, 3 coal. Oh god. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Seeds? This boy is, is crying over here. He, want, he wants to grow some seeds. There, there you go. It would ground's a little bit fertile, at least. I don't know if that's gonna work out at all. There's two clouds over here now, actually. Okay, let's see if let's see if that works. Okay. In the meantime, I want to burn more coal to make more ashes. Please and thank you. There we go. How about you throw another one in in the meantime? Oh yeah, because the other one got like knocked away. Here. There we go. Oh god, this might make the climate a little too a little too warm though. Oh frick, I didn't think about that. Oh god, wait. That's okay. Th throw some ice on it. Throw some ice on it. That's fine. That's totally okay. Hang on, we're gonna- we're gonna- Oh god, we made a savanna. Oh, why does it have spikes all of a sudden? Wait, 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 wait. Seeds, go towards the rain clouds, please. There we go. Humidity, 6 out of 14. Fertility, 5 out of 14. Oh no, we made a plains biome now. Oh, so we're actually discovering some new biomes here. There we go. What did we grow? We grew some grass. Well, that's kind of boring, but even so... We're making progress. Grass. Grows in temperate biomes, takes ground nitrogen, and disperses it into the air. Oh, so we're gonna make some nitrogen in the atmosphere now? This is still just staying water. Oh my god, there's so much carbon dioxide. Okay, we might need to take a little bit of this out. More water? Hang on, I feel like that's just a little too much carbon dioxide here, dude. Hold on a moment. Hold on a minute. I think you need more... You need a little bit more oxygen. Actually, I don't have any more oxygen. I- I barely have any more ice, actually. Okay, wait. How about I just throw one more ice down then in that case, just so I can try and, uh... 
and just lower the, the temperature and the climate just a little bit more. Because I still feel that's still a little too warm for my liking. Just bring it down a little bit more. There we go. 25 degrees Celsius. Very nice. Oh yeah, there's a lot of clouds that are forming now. There we go. Made some nice grass. Make some nice grass that we can just smoke. Let me just zoom in on this. Oh, th it looks like there's a little plant that grew right here. Okay, carbon di- oh, that is my carbon dioxide. I just- I just picked that up earlier. Okay, wait. Can you- there we go. Wait, why- why is that pink? Wait, what in the world? Hello? Oh, this is nitrogen. Okay, well, hang on a second. Throw you back into the atmosphere, then. I want to throw you back in for a moment. Oh my god. Okay, now there's more seeds. Uh, wait a second. So nitrogen, elemental gas, allows for simple animal life when in the atmosphere. Increases fertility when fixated in soil. Okay, simple animal life. And it t it told me about the Waramores, right? To create another planet. Okay, so, so wait. We might be about to create some animal life here. I hope? Are we gonna start seeing some creatures, like, popping up here in just a second? I hope we are. I like this nice little arch right here that's going on. Hang on. Do do do. Can you go this way, please? Oh, it's just emitting nitrogen on its own, I noticed. Oh god, that might make the pressure a little too strong, though, I noticed. Um, I mean, maybe it will. I have no idea. Carbon dioxide, oxygen. Can I bring... Can I take the seeds out? Okay, yeah, I can take the seeds out, actually. I can probably just plant them somewhere else, couldn't I? Like, what about if I plant them just right over here? Well, I don't know. This is probably one of those things where I have to, like, balance it out, because if I'm putting... If I'm, like, planting too many seeds down, then... I may just completely freak up the, uh, the atmosphere entirely, or I may freak up the entire climate of the planet. I did create grassy plains, though. Oh, I'm getting more seeds as well. Okay, hang on. This is pretty good, actually. It's pretty good so far. Yeah, this, dude, this guy's releasing a lot of nitrogen. Okay, I need to take... Just take a little bit of it out, please. Maybe just put it in my inventory for now. I can maybe save that so I could put it into the other... The other planet that I created. At least I think that would be good. Oh god, there's another cloud forming. Okay, go this way. I want you to go over here. There we go. Just rain on those seeds, please. And hopefully we start seeing some animal life here sooner than later. I, I don't know if it's, uh, if it's one of those things where it just, uh, where the animals are just gonna pop up naturally, or if they just spawn at complete random, or if I need to meet, like, certain, certain objectives. Oh god, why are we at a wasteland again? Wait, why are we at a wasteland? Oh no, dying grass. Why is my grass dying? Hello? Excuse me? What in the world happened? Oh god, too much carbon dioxide, I think. Hang on, hang on a minute. Get, get this out of here. I, well, I mean, I don't know if it is because of too much carbon dioxide. Oh, gee. What what, what happened? How did I freak this up so badly? Hello? No, no. Plant some more seeds down, please. Hang on. Oh, God. What in the world did I do wrong here? Burn more, co burn more coal in the meantime, then. Just to, like, create more... More... More, more fertility. Okay? I want to be able to create some more plants here. Frick. I don't even know what the heck I'm doing right now. There we go. The humidity is going down at least. Yeah, I think the reason the clouds were not appearing before was because of the fact that it was not humid enough. Okay, here we go. Okay, what is this? Heated wasteland. I'm creating a heated wasteland now? Oh, good lord. What in the world am I doing right now? I don't have any more ice. I need ice. Frick it, I'm gonna head back out into the, to the asteroid belt to find some... GD ice here. There. Bring this back. And I bring this back. And a, you know what? I'm just gonna steal all the ice from here. I don't even give a crap, dude. There. Just so that, that way I don't, I don't run out of ice. Or I don't run out of ice for, like, a little while at least. I don't know if these resources are gonna, like, respawn after a while. Because if I, if I leave, go back to this asteroid belt... Oh yeah, the ice is still gone, actually. Okay, so these might not be renewable then in that case. Okay, Inter, what are you doing, bud? What are you doing? Here we go. Ice, ice, baby. <laughs> oh my god, can you stop bouncing on off of each other, please? There we go. Dissolve in ice. We made another savanna. Okay, so what if I were to, like, really fertilize 
this planet here, because it seems like fertilizing the planet alone is actually causing the entire biome of the planet to change. So that gives me an idea for something then. Excuse me, can you go over here? <laughs> I like how I can just pick up the clouds and drag them to where I want them to be. I don't know why I find that so funny, but I just I just do. It's like if I want it to rain at a specific location, I can. Yeah, see, that's just growing grass. I kind of like for it to grow something different, though. So what I'm thinking is... Uh, yeah, go back out. Because I, I need to try and get more coal. So that's what I'm going to do. I already have enough ice as it is. So grab some coal. I may also need to grab some more matches, actually, because I don't have that many matches left either. I think I'm going to grab more matches just in case. I think I'm going to stock up on, like, 20 coal at most. There we go. And then I am going to go back to the sun for just a second, who is still upside down for some reason. Uh, maybe grab more seeds in the meantime. There we go. Yeah, get some more, get some more matches. I don't really need, uh, that many. Oh god, they're, they're just, like, floating around. Actually, can I feed you a match? What is that gonna do? It, oh, it just gets destroyed when it hits you. I guess the seeds do the same thing? Yeah. Do you still say try- yeah, try unlocking more stars. Okay. So I'll also get this to 10 as well. Okay, so let's go back to Inter, then in that case. I want to see what other sort of biomes I can make here. Well, there's still more new clouds that are forming. Okay, so... Yeah, I want to make more- I want to make more, uh, ashes here. And then I'm gonna dissolve them in the ice. Okay, so burn this. Right? Yeah, and I'm gonna try and place a lot of them around the match here. There we go. Oh my god, dude. The coal is just bouncing everywhere. <laughs> I am surprised at the fact that this is somewhat physics-based. Okay, well, also the climate's gonna get heated up a lot here, so I'm kind of curious as to what this is gonna do to the climate. Savannah. Oh, this did not burn all the way, actually. This, this coal over here didn't burn all the way. Hang on a second. That's not acceptable. That's not acceptable in the slightest. Okay. Well, in the meantime, I can also dissolve this. Wait, why is this not working? Oh my god, why is everything bouncing off of each other? Like a freaking bunch of freaking pinballs. Okay, what in the world is going on? Why is this- why is this not working? There's not even any oxygen anymore. Oh god, okay. Get- get out of here, please. Hang on a second. Oh, I made a tropic biome. Okay, I don't exactly know what that entails. Made some tropics. Okay. Well, hold on a minute. I could probably do something with this. Oh, I can't even... Oh, I know why this is not, uh... I'm not able to burn this anymore. I don't have oxygen. I need oxygen in order to make the flame burn. Okay, hang on. Gotta go to the asteroid ring for just a moment. Gotta stock up on some oxygen as well. Frick. There we go. 15 oxygen. Okay, so bring it on back. Bring it on back then. I already have 12 stars here. Okay, I think the next one I need, I need in order to unlock, uh... Oh, wait, I have two matches here for some reason. Yeah, I need 15 stars to unlock the next, like, tier, right? Okay, so, put some oxygen. Match. I don't know why there's two matches here, but whatever. Frick it. Doesn't matter. There we go. Gonna bring up the, the, the climate temperature a little bit, but that should be fine. It should be fine. There we go. Oh my god, 43 degrees Celsius. Okay, that's, that's gonna be fine, because then I'm gonna cool it down a little bit more by throwing some ice onto these ashes right here, because I really want to try and make this more fertile. Okay, 7 out of 14. We're getting somewhere at least. Oh god. Do I just want to throw a little bit of ice down just so I can, like... I can just cool down the environment a little bit. Oh, I made a tropical lake? What in the frick? Oh god, temperate ocean? Excuse me? Oh my god. Oh, because there's so much humidity that I turned it into like a water planet. Oh, c <laughs> wait a minute. What? What is new? What's new here? A water planet. Forms from a surplus of water can freeze over in cold climates, locking submerged objects in place. Ooh. Do I want to bring the temperature down even more then, in that case? I think I do. I want to freeze this over. I want to see if I can make snow from these clouds, actually. You know what? Screw it. Let's just experiment with this. Let's experiment with this. Because I'm, I'm so damn curious about this now. I don't even care, man. 
I literally just don't even care. I don't know if these seeds are actually gonna grow or not. Oh, they are. What is this? Making algae. Ooh. Okay, hang on. I'm figuring out new ways to do crap here. I like it. Grows on ocean floors, takes ground nitrogen, disperses it into the air. Okay. Just like the grass as well, actually. Oh god, 7 degrees Celsius. <laughs> okay. 23 out of 14 humidity. The entire planet is just submerged now. Yeah, we're gonna- we're gonna- we're gonna freeze you over, bud. We're gonna freeze you over, because I really want to see what that's gonna do. There we go. Make some icebergs. Yeah, look at that. They're just floating in the ocean right here. That actually looks really freaking cool. Here we go. Here we go. Freeze them over. Minus five? Are you gonna start snowing here? Please tell me you're gonna start snowing. No, you're still raining for some reason. Why are you raining? It's minus five, bud. I also like how the grass changes color as well when that happens. Okay, what if I throw seeds in now? It's still fertile, so they are actually gonna grow. Oh, I see. So whenever you whenever you plant something into the ground, that actually lowers the fertility of the entire planet. Okay. I'm gonna keep th throwing it down. Well, I don't even know if this is gonna melt now. Because I think it's too cold for it to melt now, I think. Okay, I don't understand why this is not freezing over, though, because... According to the climate temperature, it should be freezing over, right? Because we're below... we're well below freezing. Yeah, Arctic Ocean. Okay, this algae's barely even growing now. I think it's dying. Oh, there we go. There we go, I froze it. I froze it, and it's snowing. Look, that's snow. It is snowing now. There, look at the clouds. Dropping little, little snowflakes. Yeah, circular snowflakes, apparently. There we go. I'm making it snow now. Freak yeah. I still haven't grown any animals, though. Unfortunately. I imagine that the animals are just gonna start appearing on their own after a while, but... I don't exactly know how this works. What does the core look like? Oh, there's something in the center. I don't know what that is. I don't know if I caused that to change because of... You know, the way that I'm terraforming this planet here. I don't really know. Oh, there's an abundance of snow on the frozen the frozen ocean here, interestingly enough. We are at 15 now, actually. Okay, so nature, snow. Frozen precipitation can be used to water things. Okay, so wait, this is still fertile, though, so can I still plant something down here on the ice? Also, I noticed that this is actually getting, getting uh, smaller. Yeah, the, the, the water, the ice sphere that we created here is actually getting smaller. Yeah, it seems like the seeds are not, uh... Are they... Growing? No, they're definitely not growing. Okay. So there's, there's no nitrogen anymore. It's still freaking humid. It's humid as hell. Okay, wait. So I can use the snow to also water, water stuff, right? That's what it said I could do. So wait. Da da da. Is that gonna do anything? Or do I have to raise the temperature so that it like melts and turns into a puddle? Because the snow alone is probably not gonna do anything to it. No, it says it says it's too barren. Yeah, too barren. It, it actually tells me. Okay, what if I were to burn this again then? There we go. What if I just melt all the water? Maybe I maybe that's what I should I should consider doing. Hang on a second. Okay, well it's it's fun to at least experiment with all this stuff, because I'm having a lot more fun doing that, honestly, than trying to make like a habitable planet here. And by experimenting with all these different items that I found so far, I've managed to complete 15 entries already in the Heliopedia out of like 99. So I'm already making like decent progress here. I'm I'm happy with this. We got frozen algae dudes. <laughs> My dudes and dudettes. Oh, here we go, Temperate Ocean. There we go, everything melted again. There, what's the el- It's probably just gonna make more algae. Yeah, it does make more algae. Uh. Yeah, it can't release nitrogen unless it's like... Yeah, in water that's not frozen. Okay, well... Hang on. Oxygen. We do definitely need some more oxygen in here. There we go. Otherwise... Oh, what in the world? Where did that snow come from? Oh, it is still snowing, actually. The snow's just floating on the water here. It's still kind of cool, though. Like, the, even the snow floats on the freaking water. Okay, well, hang on. 
I'm gonna leave this planet alone for now, because I do have 15 stars, which means I can unlock this. Solar eggs? Oh, insect eggs. Luckily, they burn if you put them on me. <laughs> okay, that's another new entry. Look at the critters. Insect eggs. Hatches when in nitrogen-rich atmosphere breeds different kinds of critters given the surroundings. Ooh. Okay. I don't have enough inventory space to try and use any of that. Um, this is kind of a problem, actually. I'll tell you what. I'll destroy my matches for now. So that I can get some solar eggs here. Because I would like to at least try this out. Yeah. I think that's enough. That's enough eggs. Okay. I want to see. I probably hatch wormers from this, most likely. Like, I might be able to hatch wormers from this. We have enough fertility. There does need to be more nitrogen. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to add this nitrogen back into the atmosphere for now. Okay, let's see if this works then. I don't know if they're gonna hatch, but we'll we'll find out. Oh, I think it's I think it's working. What do we make? Hello? We made some fishies? Oh no, we made krill. Well, krill are a type of fish, are they? Are they? I don't freaking know, dude. Okay, wait, where where is it? Right here. Groups of tiny aquatic insects, common in lakes and oceans. Well, I guess they're insects, so uh, whatever. I'm stupid. I don't know what I'm talking about. Wait, we can make snakes as well? Okay, wait. Well, then I want to actually try and change the climate then, because I would like to see, like, what other sorts of, uh... What other sorts of creatures I can make, given the conditions on the planet. So you know what I'm actually going to do? I'm going to leave Inter alone for now. Can I change the names of these planets by any chance? I don't know if I can or not. Okay, yeah, that's cool and all. There's my little krill. Do they... Do they do anything? Do they even move around on their own at all? It doesn't seem like they do. God, the pressure is getting more intense, though. Okay, what if I throw some more eggs down, actually? What is this? Oh, no, that's just the arch that I saw before. Okay, yeah, so I throw them... I throw them into the water. They create krill. And this just creates more krill. Okay, that's n not really all that interesting. Okay, so I'll tell you what I'll do then. We're gonna leave this planet alone. I want to try and going to Turter now. I want to try going to Turter to see if I can terraform this. I already got some carbon dioxide, so I can just throw this down here. There we go. And what would happen if I were to just throw down some eggs immediately? Well, I mean, nothing would probably happen. Are they even gonna hatch? I don't think they're going to. Okay. Well, it seems like they will just stay there, though, if I keep them on the planet. So what I'm going to do now is go back and get some more matches, actually. Because uh, I freed up some inventory space, thankfully. Okay. I need to try and figure out how to create Wormers. I already created some Krill, which is interesting. And it, it does add a new entry to the Heliopedia, which is good. But I want to try and create some different kinds of creatures here. Let's burn this. Because we do have the oxygen in order to do it. There we go. We're going to we're gonna increase the the temperature of the climate here, hopefully. Uh, don't don't burn the eggs, though. There we go. Just, just move this over here. Good lord. Yeah, we're going to see if this... Uh, if this causes them to to hatch. Like, we also need to increase the fertility, obviously. We do need to increase the fertility of the planet as well. Which we can do with the uh, with the ice, of course. There we go. Just dissolve it. Just dissolve it. We made a step biome. Okay, that's actually something new that I have not seen before. It doesn't seem like that's doing anything to the eggs, though. Yeah, like not doing anything yet. Okay, well, we're making... We're putting some water in the atmosphere, at least. We're making clouds. Yeah, you're not gonna hatch by watering... Watering them, though. That's not gonna work out, is it? I don't think so. Here, let's in... Let's increase the temperature on this... On this planet a little bit further. I don't want to burn the eggs. Get out of here. Just... Just a little bit further, please. I need to try and... And... Oh my lord, what the frick am I doing? What are these physics? Yeah. I'm trying to just test some stuff out here, because this is just... This is just really fascinating to me. This is very fascinating to me right now. Okay, there we go. More fertility. This still doesn't seem like that's that's done anything, actually. Okay, the humidity is still going down, though. Wait. Do-do. 
Yeah, raining on the eggs is not gonna cause it to hatch, though, are they? Still not doing anything. No. Okay. So, increase the fertility at the very least, like that. Yes. Okay, so what if I try increasing the climate temperature to 22? I actually made a plains biome again. I guess I don't get, like, separate entries for all the biomes that I discover, though? Oh, that's right, there's no oxygen. No oxygen left. There we go. That's totally fine, because we can just throw some in. Good thing I, I actually kept some in my inventory this time. There we go. Two... Is that not close enough? Oh no, it is close enough. Okay, what if we get this to 22? And maybe then they'll then they'll hatch. Maybe it's still a little too chilly. Just a little too chilly on this planet for them to hatch yet. Let's just see here. I mean, I could also make a molten planet as well if I wanted. If I wanted to literally just destroy this planet outright, I could do that. If I, like, really wanted to. What if I put them in a puddle? Yet it still doesn't cause them to hatch. It's not- it's not creating anything. Well then, I don't know what the hell I'm doing wrong. <laughs> what if I put them in the ashes? Will that do anything? Maybe it doesn't. God, there's too much carbon dioxide in this atmosphere. Get- get out of here, please. Here, go back in my inventory for now. You're- you're kinda overstating your welcome here a little bit, okay? My god. Put some more oxygen in the atmosphere in the meantime. Just throw, throw, uh, you know, throw, throw all the rest of my oxygen in here, actually. Yeah, I don't know why these eggs are not hatching. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> well, I guess in the meantime, I could throw down some seeds just to see what other, like, what other kind of, of plant I can grow here. There's more spikes that are beginning to protrude out of this particular planet right here, so I don't, I don't even know what's going on. Oh my god, what is this? Elect- wait, electrify? Electrify! Oh, this is how we create thunderstorms! Ooh, a thundercloud. Ooh, 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 okay. You can combine the clouds together to make thunderstorms. Okay. Statically charged rain cloud that releases electric energy as lightning forms when clouds interact. Oh my god. Storm Brewer, achievement unlocked. Whoa, hello. That just created some fire right there. Burn the seeds. Burn the eggs? No, I don't think I want to do that, actually. Oh, I didn't even start a wildfire at all, though. I know that I can create wildfires in this game, too, but I guess maybe I have to, like... I have to create actual plants and then burn those in order to make wildfires, I'm assuming. Or, like, like make some trees. God, where is this ice going? It just rotated around the entire freaking planet. Pretty much. Like, where... Where the hell did that go? Hello? Excuse me? Where the hell did it go? Like, I, it just, like, straight up disappeared. I like how I can see, uh, Inter over there. There's my other planet. And there's a puddle. Okay, hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. I know what I can do to combat this, unless the puddle literally just disappeared. Okay, wait. You go right here, please. Go right here. Oh god, this is kind of making me just a little bit dizzy. Here, can I make something brand new here that isn't grass? No, this is literally just grass. What if I put the eggs in the grass? Oh, okay. These are physics-based too. Yeah, the different, like, little blades of grass are all physics-based. Look at this. They're all physics-based, dude. They're so, they're so, like, wobbly. I made grassy plans. It makes sense. Oh my god, okay. You know, electrify, electrify them again. Yeet. There we go. Oh, I make grassy stuff. Okay. Ye -da -da -da. Ye -da -da -da. Fine. If you're not gonna hatch, then you leave me no other option. Wait, you're hatching. No, never mind. I spoke too soon. You're actually hatching. Whoa. We made a grasshopper? Yeah, we grasshopper. Oh, look at him. He's so cute. Oh god, avoid the thundercloud over here, please. I don't want you to get- I don't want you to get electrocuted or incinerated. Whoa, hang on. I mean, that's still not what I wanted to make, because I- I need to make- What were they called again? Wormores? Yeah. But even so, this is still something. Known for its expertise in jumping, lives in dry areas near tall grass. Ah, oh, okay, near tall grass. I see. Yeah, look at you. Oh, I can move you around, though. I can still move you around. Yeah, how you doing? Yeah, look at him just bouncing around. 
without a care in the world. All right, it's still not the creature that I wanted to make, though, because I need to make freaking Wormores, whatever the hell those are. I haven't figured out how to make them yet. I have no freaking clue. Okay, well, that's still pretty neat, though. In the meantime, I'll just go steal those seeds. Okay, yeah, can you, can you just, like... Get rid of these these ashes, please, because I really don't even want to see them anymore. There we go. Yeah, we made some grasshoppers. Well, I mean, we can put more eggs down, actually. So what if I were to put more eggs down? Is this just going to form another grasshopper? It might. Yeah, but look at him. He's so cute, though. He's adorable. He's an adorable little grasshopper. Look at him. Just hopping around. Hopping around all over the damn place. Okay, what are you, what are you doing, bud? Cloud, I need you to come over here, please. Yeah, just, just rain on them. Oh no, maybe when they start releasing nitrogen, that's when they begin to hatch. Maybe that's what that indicates. Also, are you changing color? Kind of seems like you're changing color here. I have no freaking idea what's happening. <laughs> oh yeah, he's just... Oh, he also interacts with the, the different blades of grass too, because every time he collides with them, they also get wibbly-wobbly. Oh, and that is true. I could speed up this simulation as well. Yeah, but it just, it just formed another grasshopper though. At least there's two of them now. Wait, you are changing color. A dead grasshopper? Oh, no. <laughs> no, why are you dead? Why did he die? Oh, no. Oh, I can put you in my inventory. Wait, can I put the other grasshopper in my inventory? Oh, I can. Oh, I did not know that I could put the... A dying grasshopper. What the frick is this, dude? This is not... This is surprisingly dark. Okay, wait. Well, this guy's dead, so I mean... Oh god, I'm just throwing his corpse around. This is horrible. Wait, do you need to be near the grass in order to... In order to survive? Maybe you do. Oh god, this is horrendous. This is not good, man. Why do they die so freaking quickly? I mean, I'm pretty sure grasshoppers usually survive for, like, more than two minutes. I'm pretty sure their lifespan is not that short. Oh my god, why can I knock the corpse around when I... Jesus, it's like it's sliding on ice, dude. What in the world? Okay, yeah, you're just you're just hopping about. Here, you, you need some water? Drink some water from the cloud. Drink some rainwater from the cloud. Oh no, he's dead too. Why do their corpses just stay there, though? That's so gruesome. Oh no. Oh dear god. Okay. Just gonna pretend that nothing ever happened. Oh lord. <laughs> let me just check up on my, uh, let me check up on Inter just to see how Inter is doing right now. Yeah, you're still a tempered ocean. The krill are still there. The krill haven't died yet, at least. Okay. It's still hot and humid over here, it seems, yeah. God, humidity 30 out of 14, what in the frick? Okay, actually, I can unlock something else again at, at, uh, 20 stars, right? Yeah, I actually can. You don't say anything still, do you? Try unlocking more stars, Ugh. Okay, well, I can try unlocking the other, the other tier right here, just to see what, what exactly the item is. And then maybe after that, I'll actually end the video off, because I've already been playing this for a while. Okay, in the meantime, I'm gonna stock up on more coal, because I want to see- I do want to see if I can try to make a molten planet. And I'm also kind of curious as well, if I could possibly create creatures in a molten planet. Like, can I create a creature that can actually adapt to that sort of environment, I wonder? I'm very curious. I'm- I'm- like really curious about that actually how many how much ice do i have left by the way oh i have no ice left okay well hang on i need to i need to get a little bit more here we go you know what bring up my total oxygen count to 30 and is there more coal down here okay get it as close to 30 as i can okay i need more uh i need more matches as well there we go look how fast i'm dragging that oh my goodness the skills the speed is unmatched okay so i honestly don't even know if i want to do anything more with this because i like the way that this looks man i like the way that this looks a lot so i don't really think i want to freak with this uh with, with this planet any more than i already have because that looks really cool i made an ocean planet it's really nice Actually, you know what? I'm going to also get some more solar eggs as well. There we go, just, just a little bit more. 
Maybe not too many, because I don't want to waste too much time with this. There we go. Okay, let's go back to Turter for a minute. Because I want to see if I can just unlock that one last thing there. Oh my god, the dead grasshoppers are still there, dude. Why are they still there? Okay, actually, you know what? I'm about to do something horrible. I'm about to do something super awful. Hold on. Hold on. Electrify. Oh no. Why am I... Oh dear god. I can't believe I'm doing this. Okay, well... Uh, this is the worst possible send-off I could ever give to, uh, an insect. But... I'm curious as to see what would happen. Oh no. This is horrendous, dude. I'm literally burning the corpse. Oh god, I made a wildfire. Okay, well... Well, I mean, at least I figured out how to do it. I did want to at least try and do that before, you know, I, I ended the video. Now it's just a step. That actually did not raise the climate, surprisingly. Okay, well, I know what will. I definitely know what will. Break it, we're turning this into a molten planet. I don't even give a crap anymore. Here we go, boys. Here we go, boys and girls. This climate is just gonna get obliterated. This is gonna be the planet where I just do all sorts of horrible experiments. That's what this is gonna be. I actually don't even want to frick with the other planet that I made. Uh, Inter, I think it's called? Yeah, Inter is fine. Inter is totally okay the way it is. Leave Inter alone. This is the planet where I'm gonna do all sorts of horrible things. To, to, to everyone and everything. Oh, I made a desert biome. No, we have to go- we have to go further. We have to go even fur- we have to go even further beyond, dude. This Dragon Ball Z now, apparently. Okay, I do need- I- I am just realizing that I am running out of oxygen in the atmosphere, though. So, where- where is my oxygen? Here. Throw- just throw a little bit more of it into the- into the atmosphere here. There we go. So we should be good now. Hopefully. Oh god, yeah, I want to make like a- I want to make a molten planet, actually, because I can apparently do that. What is that?! Hello? Oh, it's a stoan. Jesus Christ, I thought there were like- th that was like a UFO manifesting. I thought we were being visited by aliens. Okay, well that's 20, actually. What is this? Sedimentary rock forms spontaneously under high air pressure may contain precious ores. Oh, because the pressure is... Oh, 1.8 bars. Yeah, I noticed that, actually. Okay. Well, there's no humidity anymore. <laughs> oh, alright. Alright, I didn't... I did not see that coming at all. I was not expecting that. Why does it just form in midair, though? That's not normally how... That's not normally how stones form. Oh god, I made a worm. Oh, those are wormers! Those are wormers! Okay, hang on. Hold up. Hold on a minute, boys and girls. I actually did make a wormer. Common invertebrate. Fertilizes soil by fixating nitrogen for the air to- whatever the frick. Okay, whatever. I think I've seen that description applied to some of the other creatures as well. Oh my goodness. Yes. Yes. I need three wormers to create a new planet. I figured out how to do it, actually. Yeah, and they just- they just form normally, just like that. Yeah, okay. Um, I mean, are the seeds just gonna form normally if I just lay them down here? I have no idea. I'm gonna get rid of my seeds so I can bring the wormers with me. Hang on. I wanna bring you guys with me because I need to make some, uh... I, I wanna make another planet. I don't think these seeds are gonna do anything on their own, are they? Wait, bring the cloud around. I, I actually, wait, I do want to try something out here. Okay, you know what, in the meantime, you can all just get dispersed, or whatever the frick. Yeah, there we go, just to create the fertility. Yeah, just to bring the climate down now. Because I don't know if I can actually make it go up any higher than I already have. Wait, why is this, why is this shaking all of a sudden? Wait, the planet is shaking. I don't understand what that means. Yeah, I have, I made a core of some sort. Still don't know what that means either. Why is the entire planet shaking? What the frick? What am I doing? Oh god, what is this? Oh, I am making seeds. Dry grass. Whoa, alright, hang on a second. Yeah, I guess that makes sense because it's a very dry climate. Oh, pyroclasm! Oh no, did I make a volcano? Oh crap, wait, what is happening? Grows in arid environments, sticks around, whatever the frick. Okay, I saw that before already. I made a volcano! Oh damn, and an ash cloud too. 
Oh, shoot. I was kind of thinking, did I just make, like, a friggin' earthquake? I made lava? Oh, lord. <laughs> well, okay. That was... Uh, incredibly unexpected. Yeah, it's just like a ball of lava. I can probably bring that with me. Okay, wait. I'm kind of curious. Eggs? Yeah, what's this gonna make? It's just gonna make another wormer. Okay. I, well, I'm gonna bring you with me because I don't want you to get incinerated by that lava. Oh my god, y you're literally like raining down ash. You're raining down ash. What in the world? So, I mean, is that what happens when I make the... When I make the planet too fertile? I cause an earthquake that forms a frigging volcano? Yeah, atmosphere contains ash now. <laughs> well, okay. That's, uh, that's quite something. Oh, this lava's like, uh... The lava cooled down and it hardened now, I think. Oh my lord. Whoa. Wait a second. Yeah, three new entries. Ash cloud rains down ashes, forms from nitrogen spewing volcanoes. Pyroclastic molten rock ejected by explosive volcanic eruptions, burns without the need for oxygen. Rupture of a planet's crust that violently releases excess ground nitrogen into the atmosphere. Holy crap, dude. I was not expecting that to happen at all. Holy crap. Okay, well we figured out how to make volcanoes, apparently. That's... Fascinating. It's just a ball of lava. Can I throw you back into the volcano? Wait a second, can I can I can I put you back in there? No, apparently I can't. Okay. I'm not entirely sure why, but Okay, well I definitely made this planet uh vastly more interesting than it was like just ten minutes ago. Okay. Well here's a stone. Okay, well there goes the ball of lava. It literally just exited the freaking atmosphere. <laughs> Hang on, just put that back down for a second. Okay. I don't know what to do with that stone. I'm gonna just zoom out for a minute. Oh my god, dude. Like, how did I... What did I even do here? <laughs> I just don't even know. I mean, I'm gl still glad that it happened, but like... Because I'm actually creating a bit of variety on these planets now. I like this. Okay, hang on. Hang on a second. I do actually have wormers, but what is this? A solar nut. Why? Hey, a nut! Cool, cool. <laughs> okay, what does the solar nut do? That's another new entry. Tree is. Sprouts when watered, grows different kinds of trees depending on its surroundings. Oh, okay, well there's something else I can... I can try out. Okay, here's some wormers for you. There we go. You need to spit. No, you need to nut now. That's what you gotta do. Oh god, why are you turning red? Tarinin. Okay. Tarinin. Okay, well, just out of curiosity, what exactly do you want now? Wake you up? You want berries? Oh, I can probably, I can probably grow those from creating trees, actually. Heated wasteland. Oh, this is already 36 degrees Celsius. Okay, well, throw some crap down onto the planet, like, immediately. Just because we can. Okay, Wormer's not probably gonna survive in this climate, is it? Well, it, it may, it may actually... Because 36 degrees Celsius, it may actually survive here. Okay. Um, actually, you know what? I'm just gonna keep you in my inventory for now, just to keep you safe. Because I imagine you probably don't, don't die or, like, starve when you're in my inventory. At least I hope you don't. Okay. Let's just try something out here. I want to create some ash so I can create some fertile soil. And then I want to see if I can, if I can actually grow some trees. Well, actually, hang on a second. I just realized I didn't actually pick... I didn't pick up any solar nuts. Okay, what in the world am I doing here? I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'll just get rid of the rest of this carbon dioxide for now. I'll get rid of the carbon dioxide. I'll grab a few solar nuts. And then... Yeah, we'll, we'll go and see if we can grow some stuff with this. Here we go. Go back to the Tarun. Tarinin, tarin in. And then melt this with the ice to make some fertile soil. There we go. This should be this should be good, hopefully. Yeah, we made a desert. Okay. So solar not oh we got some humidity as well. Yeah, but I need to I need to water this first though. Okay, well I can make some I can literally throw down some ice next to it in order to water it, couldn't I? 
I imagine. Also, bring bring the cloud closer as well. Excuse me, bring the cloud closer. God, why is that not working? There we go. Put this in the puddle. Oh, it tells me that I can't actually plant it. Okay, so what did I make here? I made a twiggy bush. Perfect. Grows in clearings and dry climates, needs carbon dioxide to grow, a great first source of twigs. Oh, okay. Oh god, it just got, like, really big. What the frick? Oh, you're- you're releasing oxygen. Okay, well, what if I- what if I lower the climate temperature a little bit more then? Oh yeah, it, you made a twig. Okay. Grows from all trees, building material, leaves ashes when burned. Okay, well, now that we're in a plains biome, I'm kind of curious. Are the eggs gonna hatch into anything that isn't, like, uh... Or wait, 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 what did that say? Oh, I can put the- I can put the eggs near the twig. Okay, well, is that gonna do anything? Is that gonna actually cause them to hatch? I am pretty close to unlocking that- that 30 star item. That's the last item that I can actually, uh, unlock here in this game, so... I'll tell you what I'll do then. I'll try and get to 30 entries in the Heliopedia. And then after that, I think I'm actually gonna end the video. Okay, so I was able to actually remove the twig from the bush, and now I have it in my inventory. No, just keep that down there for now. Just so I can keep some space in my inventory, or I can have enough space. Oh yeah, he's freaking dying, dude. I just want to free up some space so I can get more items! Okay, well, he's done. Oh, he literally turns gray. Well, he's dead. Alright, we'll just yeet him into space now, I guess. <laughs> oh god, okay, no, the gravity's too strong. Huh! There we go. Now he's just floating around the planet. I- that's- oh my god, dude. Can't even begin to describe- I can't even begin to tell you just how freaking morbid that is. A dead worm floating out in space. Just orbiting this planet. <laughs> Good lord, this game is surprisingly dark, dude. What the heck? Okay, well I- I am kind of curious, though. What if I were to plant these nuts in like, uh, in some of my other planets? I wonder. Like, what about if I- if I planted them in, uh... Like, on Turter, for instance. No, I just made another Twiggy bush on Turter. Huh. Yeah, this uh, planet is freaking messy now all of a sudden. I need to try and clean this up later. Okay, well, what about Inter? What if I try placing a nut down on Inter? Will that do anything? It might not. It's probably not gonna grow underwater. No, no, it does. It does. It does grow underwater. I made a marine bush. Okay. Found exclusively in lake beds and ocean floors, and it needs carbon dioxide to grow. And we do have some carbon dioxide here. Doesn't seem like the marine bush grows anything on itself, though. I noticed. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's even growing any twigs. Okay, so... I just need one more in order to get that last item, just to see what exactly it is. There we go. Get more ice in the meantime, because I did run out of ice again, I noticed. I still want to try and see if I can create a molten planet. Because it might give me another entry for that as well. I mean, is there a Helopedia... Heliopedia entry for... Uh... Oh no, there is actually no Heliopedia entry for, uh... For, uh, a Molten Planet. Well, I mean, we can still try. We can still try, dude. Just, just to see what exactly it does. Yeah, I don't care that the bush is on fire. Whatever. I'm burning down this entire freaking planet anyway. Just like how I burned down Turter as well. Yeah, Savannah. Actually, what if I just overload this with oxygen as well? Oh, that's actually gonna make a volcano. That's literally how I created the volcano before, isn't it? God, that- that dead worm is still floating in the background. Do you see that? That's just so gruesome, dude. Oh my god, the pressure on this is like... God, how- how far can I- can I push the pressure on this? 2.7? Okay, yeah, there's stones that are just forming in the sky now, because that's how that works, obviously. Unless the climate can't go beyond 50. Maybe it can't. Maybe the climate temperature can't be pushed beyond 50. Okay, so that's interesting. So whenever whenever the pressure goes, uh... Oh, it, it doesn't go beyond 50. Okay, so maybe I actually can't. Okay, well then that gives me a different idea. What if I try to deep freeze the planet? Like, how, how cold can I make the planet? Maybe minus 50 if I had to guess? I don't freaking know. I'm just trying some things out here, man. Just experimenting. I want to get at least, like, one more... One more thing in my, uh... My... Oh my god, there's so much ice bouncing around. I just want to try and get one more entry in my Heliopedia, because I want to see what that other, uh... That other friggin' unlockable item is. 
Also, I literally just sent this piece of ice into orbit. Like, low, low, low Earth orbit right here. Oh god, the twig. Twig's just floating in the water. I made another temperate ocean with stowins. Okay, well, that's, that's like a good start, but hang on a second. I do want to take that concept a little bit further. God, there's not much, there's not much ice remaining now, is there? No, there really isn't. Okay, that just makes another marine bush. That's kind of what I figured. Okay, yeah, so I, I, I'm curious. Throw some ice into the water. I want to see how cold I can make this, uh, this planet. Maybe this will just be the ice cold planet, perhaps. Yeah, sure, why not? Oh my god, how do I keep, like, throwing these into orbit? I came back with a boatload of ice, dude. Look at this. Came back with an entire ice bucket. Wait, what is this? Oxygen, carbon di- Wait, what are these- what are these tiny things right here? What does this mean? Yeah, Arctic Ocean, cool. Um, two- Two of what? Frozen oxygen? Oh my god, what am I doing right now? Minus 34? Okay, wait. We can take it further. We can take it further. I think- I think we can take this even further. Yeah, I think some of the oxygen is just- is becoming frozen. Like, part of it's becoming frozen, I think. Is that what's allowing us to have snow, though? I think. I think that is part of what's allowing us to have snow. Okay, yeah, deep freeze. Deep freaking freeze, dude. Yeah, there we go. The- oh, that bush is dying. <laughs> Perfect. It's totally what I wanted. Yeah, we go down to minus 49. I think that's the coldest we can actually have it. Oh, no. The bush, dude. What does the core look like? The core just looks the exact same as all the other planets that I've created so far. Okay, well, I'm curious. What sort of... Can I... I, I don't know if I can even make a nut here. If this is gonna even form anything. It might not. Snow. Too barren. Uh. Is it too barren for the eggs to, to, like, hatch into anything as well? Maybe... Maybe... Probably so. I don't know. Yeah, we're at minus 50 here. Holy freak. Are there still gonna be stones that form? Oh yeah, there are still stones that form even when, uh... Like, when the entire planet is frozen, as long as the pressure is high enough. God, this- this does not make any sense whatsoever. Maybe the last item I can unlock is something that allows me to crack these stones open, perhaps? I don't really know how this works. Oh, what the frick? I made a spider? Okay, so... The way that I made a spider was that I tried putting the eggs near this twiggy bush, because I went back to Turder here. I put the eggs near the bush, and I actually ended up making a spider. Okay. Fearsome predator in the insect world that spawns near shrubs. Okay, that's probably why it, it created the spider. Okay, well, arachnophobia warning then in that case. Get this lava out of the way. Okay, well, that's 30. I figured out how to make spiders. Okay, well, there, there, there you freaking go. There you go. I can, uh, I can kind of just, just, like, move him around here. Okay, well, yeah, I, I think he'll be fine, uh, hopefully. He's just crawling around on his own. Okay, whatever. Let's just get out of there, because I want to see... No, 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 I don't want to go to this asteroid belt. Get out of here. Excuse me, let me zoom out. Yeah, what is, what is this? A solar egg. Just one solar egg? Oh, I still haven't figured out how to make berries, by the way. I wonder what's in there. I wonder that too. Oh, it did actually make another new entry. Hatches when placed in a nest. Breeds different kinds of animals depending on climate and surroundings. Placed in a nest? I mean, I guess I could... I guess I could make a nest out of twigs. Couldn't I? I guess hypothetically? Well, no, I don't think this would be considered a nest, but I guess I could... I could build one out of twigs. If I have an abundance of twigs, I can make a nest out of that? I don't know. This little spider dude is just kind of kind of wandering around on his own here. Look at him. He's just kind of bouncy. Yeah, that's a giant ass egg as well, I noticed. Okay, well, I think I'll figure out what exactly I can do with this egg. Uh, maybe off screen, because I think for now, I am going to leave the video here. Oh, wait a second. Oh, I literally just figured out how to make a nest. Okay, well, you know what? <laughs> Tuck in, nested egg, no, spider, you get out of here. Oh my god, the volcano's erupting again as well. What, what is happening? Oh god, it's destroying the, the grass. And it's destroying my bush. Perfect. I spawned a giraffe. 
Holy frick, what is going on? The world is burning down to the ground right now. And now we have a freaking giraffe out of nowhere. <laughs> giraffe and the spider just going about their business here while the entire the entire place is just burning to the ground, dude. What is happening? Climate's at 50 degrees Celsius. Oh my god, the giraffe is already dying, I think. Look, look at him. He's already freaking dying. Okay, well, what are the new entries? Warm and cozy, made by combining twigs. Large mammal known to eat fruits and stray from trees. Spawns in hot and dry savannas. He's already dead. And the spider is just totally fine. What in the name? What even in the name? Yeah, I got ash clouds and water again. I, he only lasted for like a minute, dude. He's already done. <laughs> yeah, I think this video's done. This video's over. Yeah. That's, that's, uh, Heliopedia, guys. Breed animals, and then murder them by destroying the climate, and then just throw their corpse into outer space and watch them float around. This is an amazing game. <laughs> okay, but in all seriousness, though, uh, I did actually really enjoy that. That was, uh, there was a lot more to this than I was, uh, expecting, quite honestly. Uh, yeah, that was pretty... That was pretty neat. That was a pretty neat little, uh, experience there. I don't know if I'm just gonna make another, like, giraffe again, but... Yeah. Uh, I really did enjoy that. Yeah, I just- I just ended up making another giraffe. Oh my god, that one's probably gonna die too. Yeah, there was a lot more to this than I thought there was going to be. Uh, I've already completed, like, one-third of the entire game, basically, because I already have 33 out of 99 entries. Yeah, I'm just- I'm just killing all my freaking animals here, dude. I need to- I need to just stop. Cloud, please. No, you're too late. Okay, well, you know what we're gonna do now. You know what we have to do now. I mean, we don't have to do this for any reason, but I'm gonna do it anyway because it's it's funny and horrible, but that's why it's funny. Okay. Oh my god, yeah, this is, this is a pretty neat little game. It's a neat little sandbox game where you can really just kind of, like, screw around and do whatever you want, truthfully. Want to make some absolutely cursed planets or some beautiful looking planets. Or if you just want to be a horrible monster and do crap like this right here. Where it's just like, okay, he actually is not burning. Oh, he actually did not burn that time. Oh, this guy's just raining ash on his corpse, dude. Oh my lord. Okay. We're we're done here. No, we're done. We're absolutely done. I'm a I'm a monster. I am an absolute monster, dude. You see this face this this face right here is 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 the face of fear, dude. Even this guy's fearful of me. He's absolutely fearful of the power that I possess. Make him eat this egg. Or I just make it crash into his nose and it explodes for some reason. Okay, whatever. I'm- I'm freaking done, dude. <laughs> yeah, that was actually a neat little game. Like, I- I really did enjoy the time that I spent with this. I'm gonna see if I can keep, like, uh, messing around with some of my, uh, some of the other planets that I make here. Just to see if I can, like, uh, or- or basically figure out how to- how to unlock the other entries in the Heliopedia. Yeah, I'm gonna keep messing around with this off-screen, figure out how to create berries and just terraform my planets and just try to experiment to see what else I haven't discovered in the game yet, basically. But, uh, that's gonna do it for me for now, guys, so... I really have nothing else to say about this except that's Heliopedia. This game ended up being a lot more compelling than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, <laughs> definitely a lot more exciting than I thought it was gonna be as well because I was genuinely kind of worried going into this that this would probably be not too... not too interesting to watch or even play, honestly, but I don't know. Hopefully you guys were entertained by some of the silly stuff that happened in today's video, so... Yeah, I got nothing more to say. That that was still pretty that was still pretty funny. <laughs> Sock Pop has done it once again, and I really do want to try and make an effort to uh cover more of their games in the future. I didn't exactly keep my promise when I said in my end body video that I wanted to cover more of their games this year. I mean I did eventually play Similand and also this game, but I could have done better, I feel. So yeah, any other Sock Pop game that I find that personally piques my interest, uh, I will definitely try to cover it on the channel. I'm gonna try and make a much better effort to covering more of Sock Pop's work on my channel, or like, showcasing their work, I guess. For now though, this video is done. If you want to purchase Heliopedia, the link is in the description. It's only $5 on Steam, it's $5 on itch.io as well, and if you purchase the game on itch.io, it actually gives you a Steam key 
to unlock the game on Steam. <laughs> and of course, if you want to support Sock Pop financially so they can continue making games, you can also subscribe to their Patreon. Uh, I think I will provide that in the description as well, just like I did in uh, my end body video. And as always, thank you- I cannot get over this freaking face, dude. He looks perpetually sad and indifferent at the same time. Like, I, I'm kind of having a hard time trying to figure out what kind of emotion he's conveying here. I guess it kind of depends on the angle that you're looking at him from. If you look at him from the front, he kind of looks like he's just making a very neutral face, but then when you look at him from this angle, he does look either sad or fearful. It's kind of strange. Oh god, okay, well, yeah, and then you can turn him upside down to make him look, like, really, really stupid. Oh, this is kind of interesting as well. If you... Okay, yeah, that's actually kind of- that's kind of cool, actually. So you can bring the title screen back up if you rotate his face directly away from you. That's kind of neat. I can't think of any other game that has a feature of that sort. But yeah, the video is done. I mean, w was there an option to, uh, full screen fat? No, there actually is no option to, uh, speed up his text, because I do kind of feel like his text is kind of slow. I wish there was a way that I could speed up, uh, the rate at which his text appears, but either way, I, I still enjoyed that. That was a fun little, uh, indie game that you can definitely play in, like, short bursts of time. Seems like there is a lot more to discover in this game than I had, uh, previously thought, so, yeah gonna need to do a lot more exploring and experimenting off screen if I want to find absolutely everything in the game here. But for now, though, I am done. Links in the description if you want to buy the game on either Steam or Itch. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video I make. Later!